I'm feeling lucky. So right now, we have the current version of our Baymax. We got this joint here that's similar to your hips. This joint here on the leg, this is similar to your, your foot, right? The rotator cuff, I think. Right now, I'm trying to simplify as much as possible, meaning that I'm not having a knee joint. Is that a good decision? Is it a bad decision? I don't know. So we're gonna try to see what's the most stable and economical way to make it work. Eat your greens when you fight, you fight, but you do be clean. Then you come to the bed and you love feel dirty. It's everybody's sweat drops, you'll be keen. Bring it, let me get your juiciest piece. Can't remember when I've had the same piece. The shirts of the club never had no boundaries. How's it gonna be? You wanna eat these centipedes? What we gonna go? You're gonna need these calories. Giving me a treat. I can relate you to a girl right now. You're sneaking up on you. There's nothing you can do. There's things about the food. If you didn't notice, all the parts and joints are committed together using tapes. A painter's tape. It's so I can quickly and easily disassemble the parts. Because these parts are 3D printed if you use screws and you, and you need to take them in, put them out all the time. Those like threads and those holes will just wear out and it will not stick anymore. So I'm using tape to quickly test things out. Okay, now I'm adding extra extension onto the bottom of the foot to make this foot and with this feet join into like a fake knee joint. Maybe it works out. That means that bay mouse will be so tall, like really tall, but I think it's worth it.
shine as well. As long as you and me, baby, we can all have this extra piece here. It is meant to be a container box for a uh, for my, my keys and my watches. I found it unprintable, but I'm thinking, why would you use this large thing as a foot to help stabilize the robot? Attach on the bottom. I really wish I have a blue gun right now, honestly. Oh, shit. I should really get a blue gun, no I. This brings, up an, this brings up an interesting topic. So, if you ever actually see a bipedal walking robot, you will see that most of the time they have large and long feet. That's because it takes a lot of work to make a robot walk. In our case, quite the opposite. They have a small and cute feet. Like, the legs can move it in one direction. That's all. It might be hard to sound, but for me it's an interesting problem to solve. I think I can really, really benefit from actually going outside and buy a glue gun. I'll be right back. Okay, people, I'm back. I bought me a glue gun and some glue sticks. These are very dependable. I know it because I actually used to buy these for a dollar and a half at the thrift store and with a single handily the most reliable blue gun I've ever known. This is so fucking hardcore by the way. It feels like a fucking AK-47. It feels so premium. Much better than like one or two dollars shit at Walmart. It's so fucking cool by the way. You're walking? There's some here.
Oh wow. So like I should preload it, which is kinda cool. So it's not sticking outside anymore. I'm just picking out about a fucking glue gun. Don't be sad. Don't be lonely. Don't you know? I'm testing now is how far can one leg be lifted without the other one falling apart. Everything that I had when we split into different paths. 
sweat so much I could only laugh. Ha, you can remove me with a tap. Gone. Pack it up, another rap. Done. <laughs> Driving into a dead cul de sac. Off track, I've been falling off this for y'all. But nobody in this world do me dirty like you. What? Why trying to fix what ain't broke? Chasing when I've been a run. Gun in it, I'm a jump ship. You don't need to come with it. Stay where you are. Don't stop me. Opening my stitches. Watering all, we just can't miss. Love like a curse, I will never live. Can't follow what I miss. But I just can't seem to quit this addiction. Make it stop. I I learned that the taller they are, the harder they fall down. Finally, if I was to have play math to like karate like in the actual movie, it'll take a lot more of the luck to stabilize this thing. You know, we're thinking about it. You know, like when you do any kind of karate or working out, you have a joint in your body that sort of counterbalances yourself. When you move on one side, or when your leg move on one side, your body move on the other side to automatically balance your body. We might need that for Baymax.
funny thing. I've been literally following the exact piece to separate. So we're gonna need to separate the leg from the body so that when the robot walks, the body can just move this way or the leg moves up so it can counterbalance itself. I have exact piece. I was actually making a an iPhone case and then realized I can't use it because it's not flexible. It's hard plastic. But now it's a perfect piece for this.
Okay, here. Hey, guess what? Here's Harmon session. I'm gonna show you how it works. And now we have a principle of this. Have the left leg being lifted up at about 60 degrees. And if the hip muscle was to move, I don't know, 30 degrees, it will basically balance itself. I'm just saying. Now, it's, an, it's cool that you can stand and see if you can, it can move from a stationary standing uh, position to a, uh, you know, leg lift up position. So what happened is, when they can stand, the movement of the leg is causing a, a more, I guess, acceleration on this angle than the body moving. Not only you have to balance the force on both sides for standing, you have to also balance the, the you know, acceleration or whatever it is when you move it. Okay. That is cool though. When I wake up in a funky mood, first instinct is to bench drink till I can't think. Life is pretty when you're out of your mind and fucked up inside. This is very extreme because, you know, we're basically breaking Baymat's hip, but it's a cool experiment. <laughs> Shit. Now, in this case, because both the leg and the body move so fast, it literally twists the robot around. The thing you learn in this field is fascinating. But it's good to know that though, even at any hip and leg position, standing up is always stable. Even when the foot is stable. This is so much fun, man. Right. 
you know what? I think I know why it is you know, torturing yourself. So we think about it from, uh, from a 3D force standpoint. You have this one up here. You have this tall uh, hip moving in one direction, and you have the leg moving in the other direction. These are not opposite forces. They might have an equal force, but they they have different direction, meaning that they create a third force in this way, causing the robot to fucking twist around. It's fun as shit. But that's it for today's uh, making. Let me summarize what's going on. First, we have our robot here. We've gone very far because we just we came up with the idea of the hip. It helps us balance and stand up, which is awesome. We just have to figure out how to counterbalance it while movement. And then we'll check out next week for another video on Baymax. Have a good day.